Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Mila Honeycomb Care W418 washing machine. It's the middle of winter in 2019, so it's early 2019, January, and uh, I got this washing machine and another one, which is the pieces over there, thinking that I'd be able to do something with them, but this one's a five kilo machine and that one's a six, and this one has, uh, I think the spider's broken, so when you, when you rotate the drum, it wobbles kind of, uh, in and out ever so slightly and it's fine up until about 900 rpm spin once you put it on for a 1600 spin it um, makes a lot of noise so I've made a video of that somewhere and I'll put that in now in the video to show you how noisy it can be without any load on it but uh, what I've done here is I've put a load of bricks around the perimeter, you can just see them there. So it's got a ring of bricks, you see some on top there, and then some foam in the middle just to stop the bricks becoming unbalanced. I wanted to stay relatively balanced, but I wanted to be a lot of weight up. It's a five kilo machine and I've easily got 20, 30 kilos of bricks in there. So what I want to do is just see if I can get it to pop. I just want to get it up to spin, and then just see if it goes clunk, you know? Uh, so I've got a kind of truck strap, tethering it to two other machines, the W864, which has a mysterious fault, unknown, but I think it's just going to go to the scrapyard. Might take some parts off at first, and then over the other side is a hot point, I think. What's this one here? It's got a name, but I can't see it there at the back. It's a hot point, all right. It's like a WM. WM81. So that one still works, but it's so rusty that nobody will pay money for it, so I don't really want it. I was doing Will It Wash series in that one, and I might keep that one to do that, or I might just get rid of it as well, throw a brick in it today, we'll see. But meanwhile, back to the W3240, no, W418 even. I've taken the door off, because I don't want smashed glass going everywhere if it does. I've just put the door latch in there so that it'll come on. I'll plug it in. Turn it onto a spin and just go and hide somewhere, I think, because it was really loud with no load, so we'll see. See what the neighbours think as well. See if the police come. Huh? <laughs> Alright, let's let's fire it up. Got it set to drain spin at 1600 rpm. It's got the light on for the drain. It's probably just going to do a load balance now. It might be overloaded and it might not work. I don't know. It's gone on to final spin now. The light's there. It's over here on this side. this before it took a bit of time to get up to speed. It's coming up, I can hear the noise on it now. I'm just gonna leave it. The shadow out of the way.
right, so as an experiment, it seems to have been valid. It, um, it's managed to take the load. It's gone on to anti-crease finish. I, I don't know if it stopped spinning because it thought it wasn't pumping out any more water, which is a possibility. I don't know. What I think I'll do is I'll take out the sponge and try it again with more bricks. Actually, I've got a far better idea. I'm going to take out the bricks, get it up to full speed, and throw a brick in it. It's, uh, it's on the anti-crease bit now, so it'll just rotate it little by little every once in a while. But um, yeah, I've got to take it all out and just spin it up and let's see what happens. So I've set it once again to 1600 spin, all the bricks are out, hopefully it'll get up there nice and quick. Yeah, so that's it getting faster now. Because it'll only last a minute if it keeps going. So right now on the uh, control panel here you've got the rinses light flashing and the anti-crease finish light on. Now the rinses light, I, I don't know what that means, uh, but I know that the other machine had that in conjunction with the check drain and check inlet uh, red lights on. I think the flashing rinses light could be that it's blown a fuse, um, and if so it's not going to go again. But let's just have a close up at the damage and see what happened. It really wasn't that spectacular as far as I'm concerned. It didn't do anything really. Uh, it still spins but uh, if that fuse is blown it won't go again in the same fashion as I've run it now. So I guess that's a wrap. Let's have a look. Let's turn it off for safety and have a look inside. So there's obviously some sort of serious damage. Another bit there we've got a gouge out of the out of the drum there. It's quite buckled here. Some dint marks down here. Another dint there. This uh, segment seems to have escaped pretty well. In the back there's a big chunk or a big gash there. Yeah, that's, that's it really. Not particularly interesting as the video goes from my point of view. But nevertheless, thanks for watching. See you later.